different. It has been some time. Is it as you expected? I had thought you were the last of the Jedi, as did the Sith, but there are more of them than you know. You are correct. Time is something that neither of us has, but for now, we must speak. Your actions have crippled the Order perhaps destroyed them. No. Perhaps it is difficult to say. For every Jedi slain, for every Sith slain, another rises. But the Order is wounded, yes. Oh yes, your hate has destroyed them. You should be proud of the blood you have spilled, the lives you have ended. But before enjoying this victory, there is something we must discuss first. I have done what I can to keep you from the Jedi and the Sith, but a critical moment approaches, and what you have done is not enough. Master Vrook, despite his faults, was right to come here. 
I had thought he might have recognized Dantooine for what it was, what had been done there. You are tied to places such as these, you know. Yes, but Master Vrook was unwilling to see what other masters may have seen. That the echo of Dantooine he felt was inside you as well. They admitted it as much in the council chamber after your trial, though they did not understand what it meant at first. They assumed it was a threat that they felt. From one perspective, they were correct. As much as you can form connections to others, such connections exist on a galactic scale as well. It is possible to hurt or sever those connections, to create places in the Force where it is difficult to center oneself, but that is the crudest form of manipulation. It is possible to affect those connections in other ways, by the slightest action, a seemingly minor choice, a small cruelty. The stronger your connection to life, to the Force, the stronger these echoes can be made, and the stronger they are felt. When heard, Force sensitives instinctively seek out the source, are drawn to it to try and form a connection. And when the connection is formed, both become stronger and the influence between them grows. Your companions, many are touched by the Force on some level. And in many ways, they serve out of compulsion and because your connection influences them strongly. It was much like it was for you in the Mandalorian Wars, with many Jedi under your command. But this connection has other consequences. When the Source is wounded, the one on which others draw strength, then they are wounded as well. What one feels, the other feels. And when others die, the scream travels back to the Source. If they occur at the same time, or at the right time, these screams will build upon each other until it is the only sound you can hear. And the deaths of many will cause the screams to build until their pain becomes yours and you die as well. And that is why during the Mandalorian Wars, you lost your connection to the Force. It was that final battle, the deaths of so many Jedi, that caused you to lose your connection. It caused the wound that you feel now. It caused pain in the Force, an emptiness, a wound that has yet to heal. But it does not end there. If it did, then perhaps the threat that we face would be more manageable. This pain I describe, the echo of these acts, is true of planets as well. Tremendous loss of life on a planetary scale can also cast echoes, create a scream, a wound in the Force that can travel across the galaxy. It can be felt by force sensitives, and it can influence them, whether they realize it or not. If enough of these echoes are allowed to build in the force uncontrolled, the consequences could be disastrous. The connections of all life would be affected. Yes, in that he was correct. But like Vruk himself, that is incomplete in itself, and it only achieves meaning when part of a larger whole. As I have said, screams and their echoes can overlap, build in strength. And if timed correctly, they will build on each other. The scream will grow. And anything that can hear this scream shall be deafened or killed. With difficulty and controlling it, well, I do not believe such a thing is possible once it has begun. But in order for this to work, all of them must be timed correctly, must be carefully orchestrated and controlled, from the greatest to the smallest of echoes, even the ones that come from a lone exile echoing across the galaxy. And when that exile forms connections to others as you do, the danger becomes apparent, the echo continues to grow, to travel. Yes, he is correct. You form such bonds easily. The why of it is not important now. All that is important is that you understand that your actions affect others strongly. Anyone can do such things, since life is connected by the Force. Sometimes the connections are faint, but in your case, they are very strong. You instinctively know how to manipulate such connections, to influence others. You have seen it mirrored in those who travel with you. 
you give others strength to act, but it is also possible to draw upon the strength of others to increase your own. It is similar to drawing upon the Force as Jedi do, but when it is touched by the power of the dark side, it is something else, something deadly. These Sith we face, they have learned how to do it. They can use it to consume other Force sensitives, and at the highest pinnacle of power, use it to consume anything that lives. The blind seer, her master has harnessed this technique, and he is rapidly approaching the height of its power. I fear he may even rival some of the ancient Sith. He is already more of a force than a living thing, a hole in the force that threatens to draw everything into it. And the teaching must die with him, or else all life will be placed in jeopardy. The destruction of the Order, the Masters, it was not an end in itself. I did not expect them to still live. Their presence was knowledge I did not possess. But now this has been corrected, and now the sides of this conflict are as I had thought them to be. There are no more unknowns. But this moment is all that really matters. It was never my wish that you find the Masters, only find yourself, although I did not expect them to still live. I had hoped you would learn something from the Jedi Masters as they fell before you. Not just of battle, but of yourself and the Force. I must know. If killing them, if revenge brought you any measure of satisfaction, if seeing them dead has settled the disquiet within you. That is your wish, not mine. There is strength in defeating an enemy, not slaying them. I merely wished them to see that they and their teachings were wrong that one could not truly understand the Force simply by adhering to the Jedi Code. All I have ever trained have been failures to them. Students who went to fight the Mandalorians, who fell to the dark side, who abandoned their training. To see one that had the strength to best them, that is a moment I will not forget. Yet, it has not been as satisfying as I had hoped. To best one in battle is one thing. To defeat them without striking a blow, that was my hope. Regardless, it had to be done. To have such powerful Jedi still live, still be felt in the Force, even on such worlds as they had chosen, was a threat that had to be ended. To the Sith? No, not to the Sith. Perhaps not in the way you would think. Let us return to my question. If by killing these Jedi, if you achieved any measure of peace. It was as I thought. You have failed me completely and utterly. I have taught you to hear the Force again, shown you the contrast, and yet still you do not understand. This is what you have wrought. Countless murderers, slayers, assassins, born of war that has, as always, taught the wrong lesson. You showed them life without the Force, and instead of showing them truth, power, all you showed them was how the galaxy may die. You are responsible for all of this. Even now, events spiral towards destruction, and there is nothing that can be done because you refuse to listen, to understand. You have seen the effects you have on those close to you, heard the echoes scream across dead planets, and watched as your strength has grown. Yet it is for nothing. To have the Jedi Masters brought low by such a failure, there is no victory in that. You have not heard a thing I have taught, and for all I have said, you have never learned to listen. There. Do you feel that exile? It cuts through your defenses, as unprepared for such an attack as you are. Let that pain be a lesson, and a reminder of what you have forgotten. You were my last hope. The only one who could change what is to come. And now you have left me nothing. I shall teach you no longer. Our bond remains, but that is all. 
This place will hide you from the Sith for a time. Enough to do what must be done. Stay here and die, apprentice, among the wreckage of all that remains of the Jedi. It is a fitting grave until the Sith come to end you, to end everything. You. Oh, yes. At last, you see. I am one of the Sith, it is true. I must answer for my actions, and it is my wish that only Atris hear my answers. You have taught them to bond with others, and then feed on others through that bond. What you have brought is the death of all who can feel the Force. It is your gift to the galaxy, Exile. And unless you hear it, and silence the echo you have caused, then every living thing everywhere that is touched by the Force will die. Soon your ship will come, my master. I will bring him before you, but I will not let you have him. Soon your ship shall come from that which made you. I know you can hear me. I have always known. It is why I followed you. I have destroyed planets for you, General. But now, this once, if we could save something in this galaxy, I need to do this, or I will die inside, like I died at Malachor V. The Handmaiden took her. She thinks Kreia killed you. Because that's the lie. The only thing that matters is the Handmaiden believes it. And she's gonna react exactly how that old witch hoped she would. That's why she wanted the Handmaiden on board, you know. So she could use her to reach the Telos Academy whenever she wished, without needing the access codes. 
Yes. The Handmaiden knows who she is now. She'll take her to Telos, and Atris will do what she'll do to anyone she thinks is a Sith. Yeah, I know. That's what I was afraid you'd say. wrong. Something troubles you. I can feel it. That is a strange answer. I do not understand. I would die for you. When I tell you my life for yours, it is my choice. And if there is an ending between us where my sacrifice can save you, it will be because it is my desire, not your will. I simply do. Sometimes there is no reason that can be given. What did you learn within the Jedi Academy? Then that is the danger of their beliefs. They do not understand you, what it means to be human, to lead. The feelings I have for you are because of what I see, what I hear in your voice. All that tells me you're a natural leader. I follow because I believe in you. I would die for you because I believe in you. And where they look at you and see the death of the Force, I look at you and see hope for all life. I look at you and see that perhaps a life untouched by the Force is not the punishment it is believed to be. I will understand if you feel you must go on alone, but I ask that you do not. Instead, take strength from your connection to others. Do not forsake them as you did in exile. He awaits you at Telos. If you go there, you must face him. And when you do, he will wound you as he has wounded me. I ask you, I beg you, to stay here with me. I understand. Forgive my trespass. It would have only weakened you for the struggles ahead. I have never asked you for anything. I have fought alongside you, would have given my life to you many times over. And now there is something I must ask. I want to look upon you, where no one else can see. Where it is just us. I want to see your face. The color of your skin. I wish to see what the handmaiden sees. When she looks at you, that causes her heart to race and her tone to change. What causes her to forsake her heritage, her oaths, as you made me forsake mine. I need to know if perhaps I am wrong. If the universe is not as my master once showed me. From the moment I heard your voice across the galaxy, I have longed for you. It is the echo 
a wound that travels still, that when heard, made me understand that there was another wounded as I was, one who had felt the same sense of loss. When I heard it, I loved you more than my own life, and I wanted you to be here with me for as long as you will let me love you, stay. And I want you to see what I see when I gaze upon you. I want you to know why I cannot look at you, and why I am drawn to you. Who is there? Who I am is not the question. I am Atris, Jedi Master. The last historian of the Jedi. The last of the Jedi. Those are titles, words you cling to as the darkness falls around you. It is not the first time we have met, Atris. I was here... before. With the Exile? Yes, I was here both times when the Exile was brought before you. Who are you? I was the one who asked him to be exiled. I did as you asked, so long ago. You... you seem familiar to me. Atris, I have always been here. You are that which has attacked the Jedi. You are Sith. Sith is a title, yes, but like you, the title is not who I am. It is not what I believe. For you, it is different. Know that there was once a Darth Treya, and that she cast aside that role, was exiled, and found a new purpose. But there must always be a Darth Treya, one that holds the knowledge of betrayal, who has been betrayed in their heart, and will betray in turn. You have bathed in the knowledge of the Sith, but there is not enough truth in such teachings. But it will be a step for you. You have gathered Sith holocrons, Sith teachings from across the galaxy. It is why you have chosen servants who cannot feel the Force. And most importantly, they cannot feel what you have become. I have sought to preserve the Jedi Order, and I have gathered all that I know of the Sith to this place, so I might find them and stop them. I had wondered if any of these holocrons had survived Dantooine. You have taken relics from one destroyed planet to the devastation of another. It was always intended for the Jedi to retreat to Telos should Dantooine be attacked taking all their lore with them. We could not allow the tragedy at Osis to happen again. Such an act marked Telos for destruction. It is why the Sith came here, though the fleet commanders did not know why. It is why Revan ordered its destruction to mark the beginning of the Jedi's civil war. It was a message that there would be no place for the Jedi to retreat, to hide. I would not be surprised if Revan left other gifts beneath the surface of the planet. Much can be buried beneath graveyards that will never be found. When the Sith attacked, I felt Telos die. Turbo lasers fell like lightning upon the landscape, as they did on Dantooine. And so many died. So many voices, screaming in pain. Yes, such acts leave their mark on the galaxy. Their cries travel far, though few can hear them. How did it happen? Search your heart. It was never battle that called to you, never battle that caused you to fall. Alakor V has touched many things, and it casts its echoes still. Why did he betray me? You betrayed yourself. Do not blame the exile. And unlike you and I, there is still a chance that one may be saved, the one that you cast out. Where is the exile? I had thought... Oh, he will come, but it will be too late to save either of us. It is such a quiet thing to fall, but far more terrible is to admit it.
Your mistress awaits. She has much to share with you. The last of the handmaidens is before us. It is good that you have returned. You have much to answer for. What are you saying? You have betrayed us. You have betrayed Atris. You are no longer one of us. You followed the Jedi, betrayed your oath. Listen to me. Atris has been touched by the Sith. It is not too late for- Silence. It is a crime to kill blood, but not to kill a betrayer as you. We shall see. You were always the last of us, and now we shall show you why. We shall see what the Exile has taught. If she kills her sisters, then the dark side will have its claim on her. Yet if she does not, then she will die. Such is sacrifice. The true test of battle is how much force to bring against opponents. If you wish to kill them, do not hold back. But it <laughs>
Absent so long, I feared for your safety. Were you with the exile all this time? Mistress, as you commanded, I... Commanded? Did I command you to consort with him? To betray your oath? Mistress, the exile taught me many things. I am certain he did. And now perhaps it is time to show me what you have learned. Mistress, I do not understand. I... You do not. But you will learn. But you have had a long journey. And I am anxious to see what you have learned of war and battle.
Enough. Did you have feelings for him? Did you touch him? Did you look upon him with love? There is no love in that one. He is a shell, devoid of emotion. All that he was died at Malachor, and he dies there still, as he should. So, one exile has arrived to save another. This is a weapon of a Jedi. Your execution has been too... She said you would come here to this place. All this collected knowledge, and if I must use it to end you. Very well. Le Done well. All is as I have for there must always be a Darth Traer, and if it will not save your questions. I am not here, not in the flesh, not in your mind. But you have much yet to learn. And one of the Sith Lords has come to Telos. You know you must confront him. He is part only then shall you be ready for your final test. You have no You know where the final test lies. It is not here, not in the battle that... And know that if you do not come, you know where you must travel. You came for me. I thought I had lost you. Kreia. She said the council had ended you. When I heard her say that you were dead, I... I wanted to punish her. Hurt her. My sisters, it was my test. I see that now. I... I am the la... I am Brianna, your disciple. And the one who will...